anything different. <laughs> I've got braces. Um, I'm going to intro this video like this, and then I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me. Um, I've been documenting this journey since February, I believe. Um, y'all look at this hyperpigmentation. I had a pimple, whatever. But I've been documenting this journey since February. And it started with me getting wanting, it started with me going to get my teeth clean and low key having a consultation. And then I actually went to the orthodontist, got a consultation, and then things kind of took, like, they just kind of slowed down. Things really slowed down. Um, it became a, oh, I don't know if I'm really going to get the braces. I don't know what I'm going to do. But we have them. And so I just wanted to intro the video like this because I have braces and I'm super excited about them. And I want to take this video, um, take the time to do this video to just tell y'all why I got braces. Tell y'all a little bit more about the journey to getting braces and like must-haves, things that I've learned so far. I haven't had them that long, but I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to insert the clips and the recordings that I have done along the way. So that's what you're going to see next. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya D. If you're new, um, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post bell notification so you never miss an upload. But today I am having my initial orthodontist consultation. Y'all, I'm so excited. I've wanted braces for quite some time now. So to know that it's finally happening, it's just like, so I'm pretty sure I won't be able to take y'all into like this initial consultation just because like, I don't know what they gonna say. I don't want them to be like, girl, you're recording this. But I definitely will try when I actually like get the braces on. So I just got into the parking lot for my consultation and I had to text them to let them know I was out here. So we'll see when they text me back and I will go in. I'm gonna let y'all know how it went. And then of course, like I'll take y'all back into um, the office once they actually schedule me for my second appointment. But today, again, it's just a consultation. I think I'm taking a tour. I think I'm, I don't know what else they doing, child, but I'm excited to get these teeth straight. And I guess like just for people who are like, what, like, why are you getting braces? Well, of course I have a gap and I have one like, on the side here too um and like when i got my wisdom teeth taken out my teeth like spread even more that's something that a lot of people don't know like when you get your wisdom teeth taken out like your teeth are liable to spread and so my gap wasn't always this big it used to be smaller um i may insert a picture here here um if i don't feel too embarrassed to show y'all what i used to look like when i was a kid <laughs> but um yeah my wisdom teeth being taken out really made my gap spread and it caused other gaps in my teeth. I also have an edged bite, so my teeth come over on the side instead of having like a slight overbite that you're supposed to have. Um, and then I also have like some teeth that I kind of like pushed back that I want to be pushed forward and aligned with the rest of my mouth. So those are just some things that I knew Invisalign couldn't really help me. So that's why I'm getting braces or that like my dentist even was like yeah Invisalign won't be your best route like braces will probably be because they'll be able to like really shift your teeth the way they want to shift them which is something that I already knew so we'll see what this orthodontist says and I will pick y'all back up when I leave here hey guys I am at the orthodontist about to get my braces I decided I documented before I walk in but um yeah I am very excited but like I'm antsy like I'm nervous but like in an excited way not like nervous scared but like nervous like ah, this is really happening but um yeah I just did the check-in thing so waiting for them to text me back to let me know that I can go in but yeah these are my teeth before 
um i don't really have a lot of i don't really have crooked teeth but i have a lot of like spacing issues in my mouth and as i'm getting older i'm realized that they're getting worse um like i don't know if i said this already but like my teeth are spreading my gap wasn't always this big and i didn't have a side gap right here and i also have a cross light so i have a cross bite and i have spacing issues that need to be corrected um my eyes are watering because of the air so i hope y'all can hear me but it's hot outside um but yeah so i'm correcting those and like i don't know if you can really tell but my teeth kind of push out instead of doing like a regular like overbite they kind of like push forward like that so that will be getting corrected as well and yeah i do not want to look like i've been crying in here but it's this air and i can't turn it off because it's hot so that's what i'm gonna be doing today i'll see if i can record it i may have to um i may have to uh sorry i got a pain from work um like insert a tiktok or insert it like vertically instead of horizontally while i'm in there but i'm gonna insert some clips best i can of the initial appointment and so yeah that's what's happening right now again just waiting for them to text me back so let me know i can come in but your girl is getting braces so the next time i'm on here i'll either show y'all the process or i will show y'all what i look like with braces and i'm only getting the top row done today that's what they told me they don't like to put too much pressure on your mouth anymore these days i guess so they do them in different appointments so i'm just getting my top row done and then like in three weeks i'll come back to get my bottom row of braces so that's what's happening right now and yeah i'm excited uh it's a long time coming like at 27 years old i am getting braces that's wild to me but it's happening and i am very excited oh they just text me so i'll see y'all in a few <laughs> back to show y'all my braces when I got them on but y'all it's a, it's been a week a week and a day it's Tuesday I got them done last Monday and uh, one of my brackets are already loose <laughs> one of them are already loose so I'm back again to get my bracket fixed broke it trying to floss my teeth and i was low-key disappointed in myself but then i googled it and people were like child i broke one of my brackets uh brushing my teeth like just doing simple things because i was like i hadn't even eaten anything too, like very hard or anything that would like break a bracket but i was trying to floss in between these good old teeth and that bracket said mm -hmm. i don't know y'all can hear that sound but yeah so getting the bracket fixed it shouldn't take long at all but I wanted to do a sit down and so more than likely after this clip, I'll be doing a sit down to just talk more about it and um, give y'all an update on my first week because it's been a trying time. It has been a trying time. I don't know if they're going to um, take off all of, my, all of my things and redo my wire like if they do that i'm gonna be so sad because i'm just getting to the point where my wire feels okay literally like i mean not just my wire but like my teeth feel okay just getting to that point my first week was it was the most uncomfortable thing i've done in a while but we made it through still getting adjusted but 
we're here and I come back to get my bottom row in a few weeks um because I don't do them at the same time I think I told y'all that already but yeah top row is done and this is the beginning of our 19 month journey so I don't know if I'll be back after I get my bracket fixed or I won't I won't <laughs> I won't <laughs> Okay, the next time y'all see me will be sitting down and I'll just explain more of like this entire process. But thanks guys. This is me <laughs> coming back um, in the future um, to this very moment to just talk more about my journey. Um, so as you can see, it started off in February. Um, had my consultation and then I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous because of what all they wanted to do. So ultimately what's gonna happen, um, if I can just put it all in one place. Um, I'm getting braces. They can't really remove my gap. Like I can't really get, um, like I just can't get braces and then my gap is magically gone. Not for me because of the way that my bite is. Um, I don't have an overbite. So if they were to just close my gap as is, I would end up having an underbite and they just wouldn't know what to do with me. <laughs> so what they're gonna do is they're gonna move my gap to the side of my mouth and then I'm gonna have to get an implant. I'm gonna have to get an implant. Um, And so that's gonna happen. We're gonna be on this two year journey to correcting my spaces in my mouth because I have multiple. I don't just have the one up front. I have multiple spaces and my bite. So I don't have an I don't have an um overbite, which everyone is supposed to have like an overbite. It's natural, it's the way that it's the way that your teeth are supposed to be. But I don't have an overbite. So they got they have to correct that too. And as you can see, like now, like my teeth don't meet in the middle. Like they don't touch at all. So right now I lucky have an open bite that eventually they will correct so number one question why am i getting braces maya your gap makes you who you are maya uh, i just can't imagine you without a gap maya like why are you getting rid of your gap like i just love your teeth i just i love it i love it i love it <sighs> okay why although <laughs> I know people say these things with good intentions it's just so annoying it's so annoying Ugh. and I try to find more ways to just be nice about telling them like ha ah, I just want to you know have nice teeth um because ultimately that that's what it is for me like I'm 27 years old and I have had a gap my entire life I've had a gap my entire life. Um, I can't really say that there's ever been a benefit in me having a gap. Like, and that is what is the frustrating part about it when talking to people or when people who know me my entire life see me get braces because I've been picked on my entire life for my gap. Like, nobody has ever told me I was pretty because of my gap. Nobody has ever complimented my gap, like, ever. Ever. And so at 27, when I finally decide that, hey, I want to be on the journey to having nice teeth, it's like everybody has something to say all of a sudden. And it's just like, you are the same person talking about how wide my gap was and you could put a football through it and talking about the lisp that I have with my gap. And like, it's like, and a loose comparison, but a comparison for me, it's like telling somebody who has just who has been overweight their entire life and then they go on a journey to lose weight to better themselves to look better to be in better health whatever the case may be and then you tell them oh i liked you better when you was fat like what what type of like why why would you say that to somebody and so that's kind of how it's been like with people telling me like why are you getting rid of your girl i don't like your girl i don't want you to do that i don't okay it's for women it's not about you and two Again, I've had a gap my entire life. I'm 27 now, and I just want to know what the next 27 years of my life are going to be like 
to have nice teeth. And by the time my teeth are done, I'll be 29. So, <laughs> um, I just, I want to know what it's like to have nice teeth. And I am very, very excited. So, um, I, again, I've had a gap my entire life. And my teeth are starting to spread. So, this is what's happening. I have tongue thrust. And what that means is that my tongue is pushing my teeth forward. So, like your teeth are supposed to naturally have like an overbite. My teeth were doing this. And they met in the middle. And so my teeth were like protruding. But because I have pretty um, chunky cheeks and I have full lips, you really couldn't tell that my teeth were doing that because of my facial structure. Like you just, you can't notice it. Um, and so if you've never been able to see that when I smile or just by looking at me because of how full my face is. Um, but yeah, and so like my teeth are spreading, my gap is getting wider, my gap is probably the widest it's ever been. Like growing up, like if you knew me in like grade school, my gap was never this big. It was never as big as it has been like in my late twenties. It's never been that big. And then I also have a side gap that wasn't always there either. And so my teeth are spreading. <laughs> my teeth are spreading. And so it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't want the next 10 years of my life to come on. And now I've got all these gaps across my mouth and I just look, and I'm really not happy with the way I look in general. So I wanted to do something about it and I wanted to correct it now. Um, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and so I'm correcting the spaces in my mouth. I'm also going to be working diligently on correcting my tongue thrust. And I want to correct my bite because I've never had an overbite. And like I said earlier, you're supposed to have an overbite. It's natural. It's the way like your teeth are supposed to be. Like it's the, it's the correct way for your teeth to be. So I am correcting my bites and I am correcting my spaces. And honestly, that's one of the biggest, that's why I got braces. Um, nothing more, nothing less. I really want to have a nice smile and I don't want my life to continue to progress and I not, and like my teeth get worse. Because that's what happens. Like, as you get older, your teeth, your teeth age. It's natural. It's natural. It happens to everyone. Your teeth age as you get older. Um, and sometimes they just get worse. Sometimes they just get worse. And, like, I know y'all can probably look at, like, some older people that you know whose teeth are just, like, not as perfect as they were when they were younger. Um... And again, it's very natural. It's very natural. But for me, it's one of those things where it's like, if I can go ahead and correct it now, hopefully it'll be something that can last a lot longer than it would have if I never gotten my teeth fixed. Um, another question, how do I feel about it? Um, I am thrilled, like so thrilled. Um, it's one of those things where it hasn't really been a huge insecurity of mine, but it's been an insecurity of mine, if that makes sense. Like, it's always something that, like, I'm cognizant about whenever I, like, smile. Um, and I smile a lot. And so, of course, like, I don't think about it all the time, but, like, it's something that, like, Look at my teeth, like people just like I'm smiling out here real big, and they just looking at my gap and how like my teeth are not great. Um, and I've always been like a big teeth person, which is so wild because like, you know, like everybody has that one thing when they look at people and it's like the first thing that they see. For me, it's teeth. Like when I look at you, I see your teeth automatically. Um, and so for me, if I know if that's something that I look at when I see people, I want people to be able to look at me and be like, oh, okay, she has really nice teeth. Um, I have so many people in my life who have great teeth and I just want to be, I want to be game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to have nice teeth with them. So, um, I'm just thrilled to be able to just 
be in a position where I can correct my teeth and do it. So I'm very happy about that. Again, like the jokes and stuff as I, you know, have been like the jokes and stuff throughout my childhood and just my adulthood as well um have always been a thing too and it's just like you know and i'm one who i am i can take a joke i can take a joke it's not a it's not a big deal to me but also it's one of those things where it's just like okay here we go again with the same joke here we go again and it's just it just gets old and so happy to not have those jokes anymore um Again, like I said earlier about a lisp, like I have a lisp sometimes. And so being able to correct my lisp is going to be great, which is correct. My lisp is worse right now because of the braces and that they're new. <laughs> but um, yeah, going to be able to correct my lisp. So happy about that. When I really sat down and thought about it, because I'm a pros and cons type of girl, like I got to write down, like, what's the list? Like, what's the list? Is it... Am I going to regret this? Is it going to be something that like I really want to do? And every time I think about it, it just brings me so much joy. I wanted to end this video with the must-haves, okay? Because I don't know if I would have made it or I don't know if I'm going to make it <laughs> having braces without these two things especially. So when you go to the orthodontist and you leave they give you wax to put on your braces they give you the floss they give you a toothbrush the, honestly that's about it that's about it and so i'm like uh-uh uh-uh i gotta figure out like what else i need so i started going on tiktok i started going on google and i was like what do i need so these things right here these things right here if you don't have anything else you need these so this is how i use it so break the food gets stuck in my braces every time i eat you're gonna have to get used to that every time i eat food gets stuck in my braces and so i use this it's like a it's basically like a toothpick um but i use it to get food out of my teeth so i just like just do like this and like, that's my food in my teeth right now. Cause I clean already. But, yeah. And I just go through and like, you can go through your gums like that. Love this thing. Love it. I have like a mini thing. It comes like a mini thing. And I'll leave the links down in the bio. I mean, in my description box. It comes with like a mini thing that you can keep in your purse or in your pocket or however else if you want to take them with you on the go because you're gonna need them on the go because it's embarrassing to walk around with teeth just stuck in your braces again adult braces problems okay <laughs> you're going to need that and another thing you're going to need is a water pick i don't know if y'all are using water picks but start start I floss, I've always been like a really big flosser. Um, and so the idea of not being able to floss my teeth properly has always just been like a... <sighs> it's just like, especially that having braces, I'm like, oh my God, how do I get better at doing this? You're going to need a water pick, okay? A water pick. When I tell y'all, every time I brush my teeth, using this water pick, things that I didn't even know were in my teeth were coming out. And I was like, and it just like, it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. It comes with like a ton of different like, um, like top pieces or whatever. Um, I don't know the correct term for them. Um, it just said nozzle. Well, it comes with like a ton of different nozzles. Um, got this from Amazon and I love it. I love it. So you're going to need this too. And then you're going to need this specific type of floss that they make for braces. Let me get those for you because I didn't, I forgot them, but let me get them. <laughs> okay. So 
It's called the Platypus Orthodontic Flosser. TikTok put me on to this one. Orthodontic and TikTok put me on this. So, I told y'all I love to floss my teeth. So, this is what it looks like. It looks like your typical flosser, but as you can see, it has a flat edge instead of being bulky. So this flat edge right here helps get in between your teeth. So like, let me show you. And you see, you can't do that with a regular like pick floss. It goes right up between your braces. Game changer as well. I will say, be careful with it because once I found it and I used it for the first time, I was a little rough and I broke a bracket. <laughs> I broke a bracket. So be careful with it, but you definitely need that too. So those are like the top three things I would say you need when you get your braces. That is everything. Um, the journey with me to get my braces, the why, am I excited, and the things that you need to have. So again, if you have any questions, if you have any like, topic ideas that you want to talk about when it comes to getting braces or if there's anything that's intriguing to you along my journey that you're like I want to I want to know more about that let me know leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to work on doing a video for it um again I haven't really seen a lot of people with gaps talk about braces either so that'll be interesting um just I don't know. I just really want to be a resource throughout this journey because I felt like it was something that I was missing. So please feel free to use me to ask me questions, all that stuff. And I will be happy to do that for you. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you know, all the typical YouTube things, turn on your post notifications, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.